In today's video, we are going to complete Mission 5 Mars Landing. To complete this mission, we have to make a new rocket. Name it whatever you want. Select the control pod and attach the essential parts. After the stage separator, attach three fuel tanks and a kernel engine. Then attach four landing legs on each side. After that, attach another stage separator. Take a fuel tank, set its height to 4 or 5, and place it on the stage separator. Then attach the kernel engine to the fuel tank, then attach another stage separator. Take a fuel tank, set its height to 5, and place it on the stage separator, and attach a Mueller engine to it. Add side separators on four sides. Then take a fuel tank, set its height to 5, and attach it to the side separator. Do the same on all sides. Then add four more side separators in the empty space between the side separators. Then attach fuel tanks to them too. Attach a fuel tank to the bottoms of all sides, then attach the Muller engines as well. cones on all sides. Now we can launch it. Then simply take this rocket into orbit. If you don't know how to do it, you can watch the previous videos. Now we have to escape Earth's sphere of influence. For this, we have to keep time warping until the rocket reaches the opposite side of the sun. Then burn prograde until we leave Earth's sphere of influence. Now keep time warping until the rocket reaches near Mars. I reach near Mars on the first try. Anyway, after reaching near Mars, we have to burn prograde until the orbit line reaches between Mars and Earth's orbit. Then keep time warping until Mars comes closer but ahead of the rocket. Just like that. After coming closer to Mars, continue prograde burn until we get an encounter with Mars. After getting the encounter with Mars, continue time warping until we get inside Mars' sphere of influence. After reaching closer to the red dot, continue retrograde burn until the orbit reaches a height of 30 kilometers. Now time warp until the rocket reaches the closer side of Mars.
then burn retrograde until we get a circular orbit. Now burn retrograde until the fuel of this stage is finished. Now we have to keep slowing down by burning retrograde. Deploy the landing legs at a height of 4 kilometers. For landing, the speed has to be kept less than 20 meters per second. and we have finally landed on Mars. If more than 75% fuel is remaining, then we can proceed with going back to Earth. Now get to Mars's orbit. After getting into orbit, time warp until the rocket reaches the closer side to the sun, then burn prograde until it leaves Mars's sphere of influence. Then time warp until it leaves the sphere of influence. Hmm. That's rare. Getting an encounter directly after leaving, that's quite rare. Anyway, burn retrograde until the orbit gets closer to Earth's orbit. Time warp until you reach the opposite side. Burn retrograde until the orbit gets closer to Earth's orbit. and we're all set. Just time warp for some time and you'll get the encounter automatically. Here you can see I got the encounter. Time warp to the red dot. After reaching closer to the red dot, continue retrograde burn until the orbit reaches a height of 50 kilometers. Time warp to the lowest point. Do a retrograde burn until the orbit line touches Earth. Simply land.
After landing, recover the rocket, and with that, our fifth mission is complete.